Since being launched and operating at sea, ships are constantly exposed to the sea environment, leading to a high risk of corrosion, in addition to the surrounding environment as well as severe weather conditions on the sea. The sea also greatly affects the stable and safe operation of ships. There are many constant risks leading to the ship being damaged, if it is light, the ship can still operate in moderation to return to the repair yard, sometimes they are in danger of sinking, losing the ability to self-manage and move, then these ships need the support of the ship's rescue team. In some less fortunate cases the ship may sink and take a long time to be recovered as a ship or or even will lie for many years on the ocean floor with unknown date was picked up at that time the loss to shipping lines was extremely large it is extremely important that shipping lines have a specific plan for ship maintenance and repair maintenance activities can be divided into three main levels including corrective maintenance, preventive maintenance, predictive maintenance. Corrective maintenance, this level of maintenance is often referred to as run to failure. That is, maintenance will take place after errors, failures, and unplanned. In order to implement corrective maintenance, engineers first need to identify the existing problem, damage or error then determine the cause of the problem, then propose a solution to fix and evaluate the problem, feasibility and, ultimately, remedial action. Preventive maintenance is usually performed conditionally, on schedule or over time. This maintenance is usually done proactively when the ship reaches a certain condition, be it after completing a schedule or after a period of service. The parts or equipment that has reached the required condition will then be inspected and remedied to ensure it is in top working condition. The ship's hull and deck are essential parts that receive a preventive maintenance level because they are constantly and directly exposed to threats from the external environment. Periodic maintenance of the hull and deck is essential to ensure durability and prevent corrosion of steel by seawater. Predictive maintenance, this is the maintenance level that is said to be the best maintenance measure. This maintenance activity takes place before a breakdown or breakdown thereby minimizing the risk of potential damage, minimizing unexpected repairs, and maximizing the overall performance of the ship. To perform this level of maintenance effectively, it is most important to regularly monitor and update the data of related items and parts. To begin the maintenance and repair process, the ship will be towed by small ships to the repair yard. Here the ship will be thoroughly examined for parts, compared with the original design and technical standards. Damages and errors will be detected and evaluated and solutions for repair and replacement will be offered. 
Finally, engineers under the shipyard will carry out repairs and maintenance. As in this situation, the hull of the ship was scratched, it was dented and had a small hole. At that time engineers had to cut a large area around to patch the puncture site. The treatment of an area much larger than the puncture is extremely necessary because when the ship goes into operation, it will be subjected to a very large pressure, and this repair option will ensure a high level of safety for the ship. For the total maintenance operation, the entire ship will be inspected, repaired and maintained in part. Detachable parts and assemblies are disassembled for evaluation and repair and to simplify the repair process. After being repaired, the previously disassembled parts and assemblies were reassembled on the ship. The last stages of the maintenance and repair process are urgently completed to bring the ship back into operation soon.
when the repair and maintenance has been completed, the ship has a working state and looks like new. It was once again launched and ready for new sea voyages. <laughs> <laughs>